So guys, welcome to another POC episode, the Pillar of Content talk show. And now we have a special guest over here whose name is just Johnny and he's part of our Python programming class. And he also Hello, joined guys. our self-dev community uh, a few months ago and now came out of the shadows. And today we want to talk about the Python programming class actually, because we have an expert Julio, aka Blazer, here as well, who has a lot of experience and he learned from a lot of uh, different resources like YouTube videos and uh, courses maybe and uh, Medium blog posts. And then we have Johnny who also did the same, but he's a beginner. And today I just wanted to talk about your experience on how you learned coding, like the videos and the blog uh, entries from other people and how our Python programming class, which we uh, host every Sunday, is like, you know, because we do it a little bit more interactive and I just want to hear your experience. So let's go, man. Johnny, maybe you can start and welcome all of you again. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad to be here and, uh, and also very glad to be a member of the Python bootcamp class. <laughs> um, yeah, very short. My background, I started with Java, actually. Um, by buying a course on uh, a very well-known platform and uh, then over time I transitioned to Python now because of school and um, yeah what else to say um, my first recommendation to any beginner try to learn a coding language in English right away I started with my mother language and now it's sometimes hard for me to actually understand certain terms so I always have to Google them up and translate them, but it's doable, but yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. One thing which I wanted to mention is uh, last time you told me you watched a Udemy tutorial or something, and then you mentioned something which I think is super um, good to know. Do you remember what it was? Hmm. Are you talking about the topic that it was too hard for me to understand? <laughs> was it... Yeah, something like that. And you mentioned. Oh yeah, I watched. Um, yeah. So what I did was, uh, I, I tried to use my learned skills basically from the course, and then I searched on YouTube like a beginner projects you can do with Python, and then the person where was doing a project was which is supposed to be easy, I think, in their eyes. But for me, it was really hard because of all the thought process, which is behind certain things. And that's why it was very overwhelming. And I just stopped because I didn't want to just type it, uh, type it uh, into my IDE and then learn it that way. I want to understand it myself first. So, yeah, maybe it was too fast. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I think it, it's exactly what I uh, wanted uh, you to say. Like, um, because you said something like, um, when you are in our class, it's a little bit different because I don't uh, talk about too many things which you don't know about yet. You know, mm -hmm. like I just yeah. try to say or talk about things which you need to know now, and not something which is good to know but you don't use it right now so you just uh, learn um, on top of what you already know and then it makes sense you know what I mean yes that's uh, that's actually very good because I feel like um, the courses yes they bring a lot of knowledge um, uh, what you can do with the language itself but sometimes they're just not needed like they're like very specific cases where you need that certain um, syntax or like function or whatever it is so um, learning from somebody who is very experienced, like you guys, um, which who who knows, like okay, this is very important, which you use every day, um, is actually more helping than learning all the very specific things which are not very necessary in the beginning. Yeah, um, I think that's that's a good um, transition to the end actually and in the next episode we can talk about uh, Blazer's perspective because he knows a lot of videos which he watched and he, he knows how I teach and that's what we are going to talk about in the next episode so thank you for joining again 
and see you next time, man. Peace.